check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Capturing a completely pure sounding vocal, free of unwanted noise, isn't always that straightforward. In this video, I'm going to show you how to address five real world audio issues that from time to time creep into vocal recordings. I'm going to show you how to quickly remove unflattering mouth artifacts, control breath level, attenuate harsh sounding sibilance, remove low end plosive thumps, and eliminate low level hiss. Now to be able to fully appreciate the examples in this video, I strongly recommend that you continue listening with a decent set of studio headphones or monitors. Let's jump in, starting with how to remove mouth artifacts such as saliva sounds between melody lines in a vocal performance, such as what you're going to hear in this example. See, I won't change for the world. And I won't change for you. Now, if this was left untreated, it could become a problem later in the mix, especially if you end up using a lot of compression on the vocal, because compression squeezes the dynamic range, making the louder bits quieter and the quieter bits louder. Now, we could, of course, clean this audio by selecting it and deleting it from the waveform and drawing in some fades to soften our edits. See, I won't change for the world. But cleaning your audio this way could take quite a long time, depending on how many edits you need to make and how many tracks you need to clean. A much more efficient way to clean out all of that unpleasant salivary sound and background noise is by using a noise gate. Noise gates are similar to compressors, but instead of turning signals down that go above a threshold, which compressors do, noise gates turn signal down that falls below a threshold. Let's have a listen to this gate in action. Keep an eye on the display in the middle here and the meters to the left, as these will show you when the gate is open and closed. See, I won't change for the world. See, I won't change for the world. See, I won't change for the world. Now, apart from the threshold, there are three other controls that you need to know for you to be able to get the best out of your gate. These are attack, release and hold. Attack determines the time it takes for the gate to fully open once signal has passed the threshold. Hold is for setting the minimum amount of time that the gate stays open for, while the release sets the time for the gate to fully close after the signal falls below the threshold. If you have a rather breathy vocal take, you may want to have a slow attack and release and a slightly long hold, but if you've got a more aggressive vocal that's quite choppy, you may want to speed those up a little bit. Now, if noise gates are just a bit too complicated for you, there is a simpler approach that does the same thing. And it's found in this Renaissance Vox. It's a fantastic sounding compressor with just really one control for setting compression, but we're not going to worry about that in this video. We want to look at this, the built-in gate that has attack, release and hold settings already done under the hood for you. All you need to do is set this slider to just below the softest part of the melody performance. See, I won't change for the world. See, I won't change for the world. Let's move on to controlling breath energy in a vocal. Take a listen to this female rock vocal and you'll hear a number of pronounced breaths that I feel could be slightly less intense. Oh, you learn. Not to get burned. Now, like when we were cleaning out the noise in between melody lines, we could, of course, separate our vocal breaths and bring them down in volume. Oh, you learn. Did. Or remove them altogether. Oh, you learn. But working this way will just take such a long time. We can instead just reach for this waves deep breath. On the right, we have this reduction slider, which we can use to either gently attenuate the level of breaths or remove altogether. Oh, you learn. Not to get burned. Did. Oh, you learn. Not to get burned. 
Next, let's have a look at how we can reduce sibilance. Sibilance in vocal recordings is an unpleasant harshness. You'll generally hear it on T's and sh and s sounds. And to address this, we use deessas. Waves offer three, but the original deessa is my personal favourite. It's so simple to use and just sounds absolutely brilliant. A simple way to understand what a deessa is, is to think of them as a multi-band compressor, with only one band compressing an isolated frequency range of around 4 to 10k which is where you'll find most harsh sibilant sounds. Now in this DSA plugin, we've got some really powerful presets to get us started with. First, let's take a quick listen to this vocal. A chasing dragons was a bladder for me. A boozing cruising was my philosophy. So you can really hear that harshness in the ch sounds and the sh. Let's use this to reduce that. And it's as simple as just lowering this threshold, and then we'll see some attenuation kick in on those sounds. A chasing dragons was a bladder for me. A boozing cruising was my philosophy. A chasing dragons was a bladder for me. A boozing cruising was my philosophy. A chasing dragons was a bladder for me. A boozing cruising was my philosophy. If you find it hard to identify the frequency range where your sibilance is in your tracks, you can use the monitor section down here to just hear the sibilance. And you can sweep the frequency around until that sibilance really comes out of the speakers. And then use your threshold to knock that down to reduce that and then take it out of monitor and you can move on with your mix. Next, let's learn how to reduce plosives. Plosives being an unpleasant sounding low end thump caused by strong bursts of air from a vocalist's mouth hitting the diaphragm of a mic. You'll typically get plosives on P and B consonants, which 99% of the time can be avoided by using one of these, a pop shield, also known as a popper stopper. There's absolutely no excuse for not owning one of these, as they do exactly what they say on the tin. But from time to time, a plosive can creep in to a recording. Let's look at two ways of addressing them. Take a listen to this vocal and you'll hear on the word past, a very clear example of what a plosive is. Put the past in a charity store. And we have two ways of addressing that plosive. Here in Waves F6, we can dial in a high pass filter, filtering out any low end information such as that plosive. Put the past in a charity store. But this approach can make the vocal sound a bit too thin. Dial it back a little bit. Put the past in a charity store. Now that sounds much better, but there's another way that we can reduce plosives while retaining tone and body in the vocal, and that's by using a dynamic EQ band. Put the past in a charity store. So it's around about here, and all we need to do is lower the thresholds, have a fair amount of range, fairly quick attack. And this should catch and attenuate that plosive. Put the past in a charity store. Put the past in a charity store. Let's wrap this video up with the final topic, learning how to quickly remove annoying hiss from a vocal recording. Now, hiss is never ideal. Luckily, these days, it's fairly easy to treat. Take a listen to this vocal, which has high levels of preamp hiss all over it. Another leaf blowing in the breeze. So leave a few good memories. You're just another leaf blowing in the breeze. So we've got a great vocal performance there. Sadly, the recording isn't so hot. If we don't address this now, it's only going to come out more in the mix as we start to apply EQ and compression. Now, if we just loop a section of this hiss, we can then jump into using this, X noise. And this is gonna remove all of that noise very quickly. Now we've got that loop, all we need to do is hit learn in the plugin, put our DAW into playback, up the resolution to high, take it out of learn, and now X noise has a noise profile that it's gonna to use to reduce the hiss. And if we just listen to that loop of the hiss, we can then play around with the threshold and reduction faders, Let's have a listen to that vocal again and see if we can fine tune this a bit further. Another leaf blowing in the breeze. So leave a few good memories. You're just another leaf blowing in the breeze. 
Another leaf blowing in the breeze So leave a few good memories You're just another leaf blowing in the breeze Hope you guys got something from this. For more information on the plugins featured in this video, do click that card at the top right of the screen, link in the description below. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. It sound right, boy.